What's poppin' everybody? It's a Sabro Fighting 4 with what could very well be our last deck profile for TCG Online. As I estimate, they're gonna make an announcement in the coming weeks regarding Pokemon Live. But nevertheless, we're gonna be looking at a brand new deck today in the standard format. And it's gonna revolve around the Solrock and Lunatone cards from Pokemon Go, but they've been reprinted in the um, Crown Zenith set as well. It's the versions that I've got over here. So looking at these cards somewhat pleases me because it's a throwback to Lunatone and Solro cards that have been working together since Gen 3. Now obviously regular Pokemon are always going to have a lot of difficulties in this day and age. But this is at the very least a very consistent and very easy deck to build. One of the easiest decks I've built is just a, a lot of cards played in force and just a straightforward combo. So we got this... Solrock right here with Sun Energy. Once during your turn, you may attach a Psychic Energy card from your discard pile to one of your Lunatone. So, discard pile energy acceleration is always strong. It's usually reserved for Stage 1 Pokemon or Stage 2 Pokemon even. So, this guy doing this as just a basic, it's going to be fast and strong. And Lunatone, surprise, surprise, of course, they made it to work with uh, Solrock's ability, Moon Kinesis. It's going to do 30 more damage for each Psychic Energy attached to this Pokemon. So you start with 30. You put 3 Psychics to meet this guy's attack. That's 120 for 3. And it's going to get even better the more Psychic Energies you got. So really good. Just a regular Pokemon. And our goal is to be getting at least 2 hit KOs on the biggest Pokemon. And maybe with a little bit of setup. And if your opponent is passive enough, you can even get one hit KOs in Pokemon. Now the cycle draw attack can be useful too I guess during the beginning if we can't quite attack immediately which it's possible you can actually attack on your first turn with this deck or on your second turn but on your first turn but it's gonna be the second turn if your opponent played first. But if you gotta do cycle draw discard a card and draw three cards this can be really good. I like that you can discard anything. It's not just energies, which is what usually you're going to want to discard. But you can discard anything to draw three. Pretty good. Both of these Pokemon have 90 HP and one retreat. Uh, the weakness doesn't matter. The HP doesn't matter either because they're going to be dying in one shot. But um, I guess maybe Lunatone can take a hit from a fighting Pokemon if it's weak. That's about it. So four of these guys. And then the other two Pokemon is just a straightforward... Raiden Greninja makes perfect sense in this deck as a discard outlet given us draw power, regular Pokemon as well, and Manaphy for bench protection because these guys are really small. If you do face off against opposing Greninja that can attack, you know, with the Mirage Gate or in water decks, then it's going to be sad. There's other snipers too. Uh, this, uh, this lone Manaphy probably won't be enough to you know help you out but I mean if they got if they at least have to pick on it and maybe you can recover it back again maybe you can put in some help I mean I usually want to have a 10 to 11 basics as my minimum so just throw this in as opposed to something else okay and that's all the Pokemon just 10 Pokemon 10 basic Pokemon now if you run into the flying Pikachu V Max you are gonna get an auto loss but I decided whatever we're just gonna take that there's no point in me I mean the cologne wouldn't even work because it's not an ability so you can't really do anything against that okay now moving on to the trainer cards we have a lot of them because we have the space and this is another thing that helps make the deck at the very least fast and consistent fours of all of the searching cards you could think of uh, you got the four level ball it's just going to search out everything except greninja all of our main attack all of our main pokemon and manaphy uh, we got the four quick ball as well. Just grab absolutely everything in this deck, including the Greninja. And it's a discard outlet. So discard the psychic energies to set up for sun energy. Then I got four fog crystal. This is a perfect card in this deck as well because it's another instant searcher for Lunatone as a psychic Pokemon. But we can get psychic energies too. So get the psychic energies to get the manual attachment to discard them. Just too good. And then I also do double Ultra Ball. Heavy Duty Discard Outlet once again and can grab me anything. Uh, maybe it's a little bit extreme you can say because uh, we have enough searching cards. I mean for days it's like 4, 8, 
12 is just more than enough to get the job done. But I guess it's just something else as a discard outlet because you got to get those psychic energies in the discard pile too. And if I don't have to use it, then I don't have to use it. It's not too bad. Uh, got the tracking issues as well as another draw draw card as a discard outlet too. Maybe it can help. But I didn't want to run this and over rely on it as a playset because if you do get that odd, you know, discard a, a Lunatone, a Pokemon, or just something else that's important, it kind of sucks. It's different in Darkrai because we just need Darkrai and Darkness energies at the end of the day, uh, if when it gets down to it. But this sort of deck, I want to be a little bit more careful. So just one of this should be good enough. Uh, I got some consistency cards that are also, I guess, um, standard maybe for this sort of a deck. Um, like the scoop up net. I guess this isn't a, it's not exactly a consistency card, but I guess you can do the combo with Greninja to get your draw, uh, put this back, put the dude back in hand, play him down, draw some cards. But the main reason is that I can just use it as a switching outlet. Um, never know, I guess. It's another thing that we can do to reuse Soul Rock multiple times. Um, it's all I got. I don't even have a switch in this deck because all of these Pokemon have one retreat. It's just very easy to maneuver. So I'd rather have other cards. Um, when it comes to consistency, we pretty much covered everything. I guess the last thing to talk about is the Poke Gear. I have a lot of supporters in this deck and we have the space, so I run this for additional consistency. Why not? Uh, Trainer's Mail is better, but we don't have that in standard. And, um, yeah, that's about it. I have enough supporters for this to usually be live. I mean, besides Greninja, nothing else to draw cards. So, supporters is what we're going to rely on. And uh, recovery cards that are important. Rescue Carrier makes perfect sense in this deck. As our main Pokemon have had 90 HP. So you can get like a 1 Soul Rock, 1 Lunatone, double of each. Depending on what you need. can even get like Manaphy back, depending on the game state. So that's all I got. I don't run any Ordinary Rod or anything else. I don't think it's necessary. Uh, I think this is the most superior card to run since it, it gets you the stuff back in hand. Since we can. Okay. And then the rest of the stuff is... Well, I guess I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. We still got the Stadium and the Tools before I talk about the supporters. Uh, triple Choice Belt. This is the most obvious choice to run in this deck, giving you extra power. And we can afford space to run them, so we're going to do so. Now, when the EX Pokemon come out, this is going to be fully useless against them. But for now, it's your best sort of additional bonus damage for the rule box Pokemon. And, you know, this guy, is it's not going to be easy to get one-hit KOs, especially on V-Star Pokemon. It's pretty much impossible. And this is just leave your Lunatone... And then you can put like eight energies on it. But our goal is to get at least two hit KOs. Hit at least between 150 to 180 damage. You know, this ensures a two hit KO on everything basically. And Choice Belt can help. Indeed. And then I got the Triple Path to the Peak. Uh, just a stadium, counter stadium to get rid of annoying stadiums. This stops a lot in the format. Arceus, Lugia, just pretty much so many... Pokemon. The only thing it affects in our deck is Greninja, but if I get set up, Greninja isn't really that important. And, you know, once you get a bunch of Psychic Energies, at least three, if this guy is going to be if dying every turn, then you're always going to have energies to grab back with Soul Rock. So, it's not like we got to discard 20 energies, but it's nice to have a lot in the discard pile too, uh, because I have enough to spare for mental attachments. And obviously, we want to utilize this guy as much as we can. Okay, and um, that's about it. Um, I mean, for this stadium, you can decide to run the Temple of Sinnoh, if you like. You can run something else, I guess. Um, this is just the best one for me. So, I'm putting it. Three of them, in fact. And I'm going to be more uh, welcome to throw this down without trying to conserve it. Just throw it down. Just try and be as fast as possible with this deck and play to its only real strength, like the speed and consistency. Okay. 
Now, supporter cards. Now, this deck, we can make very good use of Professor Oak, which is great because it's the strongest in terms of raw draw that it's going to give you, this guy in standard. Uh, we don't have things like Cynthia and Chorus, unfortunately. So, three of this, discard it, heavy duty draw card. Pretty nice because, you know, if I see my Pokemon, I can just play them down. I don't have to worry about discarding evolution pieces. So, he's better in this deck as in other decks. Then I've got the Triple Marnie as well. A little bit of disruption, I guess. Shuffle draw, still solid. And then some other typical techs you'd see, I guess, supporters in my decks. The one copycat. I don't really think I see a lot of people play this, but I like to use it. I mean, a lot of decks have a lot of... Uh, uh, keep a lot of cards in their hand, draw a lot of stuff, you know, with the Confis and Fusion Strike and other decks. So this can be really good if you mimic it at the right time. Six and up should be good enough. Because at least if you mimic six, then you're at a Cynthia, basically. Professor Oak's new theory. Uh, one, Cynthia's ambition. I guess maybe other players would want to do more in this deck because we're probably going to be dying turn after turn, our small guys. But I wanted to have some different variety. If I have to use this when nobody died, you're not going to draw too many cards. I mean... We have a lot of other supporters anyway. So just one of her, say this ambition. Then I do the one lady. Uh, kind of a tech supporter card. Might be a bit too slow, some would say. But because I'm running Ultra Ball, Quick Ball, so many discard lits. Sometimes all we want to do is just see a bunch of energies. And uh, we can just dump a few things. So I think this is good as a one of. Uh, you're not always going to use it. You're not always going to see it. But depending on your hand, it could be the right supporter to use at the beginning. Okay. And then the last supporter, it's going to be two of these hoes. Serena. So I'm not the, the biggest fan of this, this card. Uh, in terms of its... It, it's going to be... It's not going to be relevant for too long. When the X's come out, the pulling effect um, will be irrelevant. And then the discard draw effect isn't the greatest either. But in this deck, in this deck and at the current format is a great card now I like this over here because once again we've got the space so I can afford to run a card like this that has a dual purpose I guess that's the big benefit it is gonna work as a draw card and it is gonna work as a pulling card too which is just great uh, for these so I run two at the end of the day it can be an additional boss's orders which I have one of here as well so I think it's pretty good and because of our other consistency cards you know it's a discard up to three card we can discard energy store until we have five it's good enough I mean it's the sort of a number of uh, you know the draw until we have five is not great but supporters are kind of weak and standard I've said this many times you know you, you've got your oak but then most of the other cards they're not as consistent as something like Cynthia something like N even chorus so we work with what we got and yeah it's gonna do the job here I can afford to run her I mean in other decks it's not like she's a useless supporter it's just that I can't really afford I have to if I'm gonna put her in I have to take out other cards that I don't want to uh, speaking of there is no Skylar in this deck uh, there isn't really any serious thing we want to get with Skylar like um, rare candy or specific search card to evolve into Pokemon. We need a bunch of things at once. So yeah, this is actually better in place of Skylar for this sort of a deck. The only thing that Skylar can get me directly that none of these supporter can none of these supporter can is a path to the peak. But that's just too situational. So I opted not to run Skylar at all in this deck. Okay? So this is the deck profile guys. I'm gonna show you guys matches. The deck can work um Sometimes you're just going to be you're going to be running fast, but you're going to be running out of gas. You're not going to be able to get those KOs. Um, if you do get, if you can't attack on your first turn immediately, that kind of sucks too. Because if you got to use this guy to draw cards, you know, just attack to draw cards with his attack, and then they get the first KO. One of your Lunatone has died already, sort of thing. It's just not as good. Ideally, you want to play second. Uh, get your Solar Ox and Lunatone out, at least one. Dump a few energies and get that first big attack. 
that 120 attack at least turn one and that's your best chance to do well with this deck okay so I'm gonna show you guys matches as always this could very well be the last couple of matches for TCG online um, my prediction is that they're gonna try and get the live game get us to migrate and warn us you gotta migrate until X time before Scarlet and Violet comes out around the time when it's gonna come out basically uh, towards the end of March I could be wrong though and maybe we'll have TCG online throughout April too who knows but still gonna show matches for TCG online and yeah we'll see what happens uh, hopefully this video came out great I was recording I'm recording with my updated mic different setup new camera hopefully everything works out so yeah thank you guys for watching subscribe to the channel leave a like share this video with your friends and i'll see you guys on the videos on the matches what a